This is Ray Henry's busiest time of the year, as he spends most of his days trimming trees for Christmas. The hot tree this year is Fraser fir. The Ontario-grown fir has needles dusted with a silvery tinge. That makes it the most popular choice among discriminating buyers. Four hundred. Four hundred bucks. Four hundred dollars. And people will pay that. Ah, uh, they'll pay it in certain. Henry should know his family has been in the tree lot business for more than 50 years. He's been on this corner of Southwest Calgary for 31 years before there was even any houses on the other side of Sarcy Trail. He says for established lots, the Christmas tree business is recession proof. Uh, it's, it, it won't really affect us. Today's economic news may be dominated by talk of slowdowns, layoffs, and falling stock prices, but you wouldn't know it by looking at Calgary's garden centers. They're all decked out in the trendiest in upside-down trees, and Christmas with a different spin. But recent retail sales numbers show they're turned upside down. Sales in September were actually up in Alberta by 13%. Those who depend on Christmas for a good chunk of their sales won't let all the economic doom and gloom bring them down. Is it recession proof? You know, I think for the most part it is. Um, you know, that's certainly been, you know, my experience at Golden Acre. Haas says an economic downturn may actually increase sales. Many buyers will pass on that expensive vacation this year, but will spend a few more dollars dressing up the house for the holidays at home. Uh, it's certainly uh, uh, you know, a part of our business that, that's always consistent. Ray Henry expects to run out of trees at what he calls the biggest lot in Calgary, including a lot of those $400 Fraser furs. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.